Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We got a great shave for you today. You know, we're actually gonna use a soap I haven't used before. We've smelled scents like this hundreds of times before, but we're gonna use Captain's Choice Sandalwood. Now I've got a cool little uh, sample that I was sent by somebody, don't know who. There we go, you can read it. But uh, anyways, this is the soap, not the cream, I believe. I did, it's been hot, man. So we added a lot of menthol to this and the lather's still working out fine. So no worries, we're using the Maddie Lindholm brush. And honestly guys, I'm using a, a timeless razor that was sent to me by James and I haven't looked up any information on it. Um, I will try to get more information on it and put it up in this video throughout me loading this blade. If I find or take the time to do it, sorry. I just wanted to give it a try and I've never really liked timeless you know what, we'll do the third use of the willies that's already out. I'm not, timeless razors are just always, they bite. They bite me. I'm sure it's a technique thing. I'm sure it's a me thing. But, you know, since I'm the one using them, you know, for me, I don't generally buy them. So I'm interested. I mean, I like their designs. I like the handle. They look good. Just, they never sit right with me. So we're going to give it a go, third use on the Willie's blade, everything's looking good, lined up. Captain's Choice lathered up with quite a bit of frost drops from Sterling. You know, it's almost like there's a little pepperiness that may be coming across in this. I don't know why, but it, it's not... At first I thought it was kind of creamy when I was lathering it, and then I was like, is that kind of peppery? I don't know, maybe I'm smelling something else get up to the cheekbones because I have these stray hairs that get like all the way to there. You know, nobody's beard's perfect. Nobody has perfect hair growth. If you do, you are awesome. Congratulations. I envy you. There we go. This would be awesome. You can do whatever you want with your beard. Grows perfect. Always lines up perfect. Don't have weird strays everywhere. Hell yeah. few days worth of growth, two, three, I don't know. Mowing it down though. Yeah, it's sandalwood. Classic brand. Not like I'm super excited to use it, but it is nice with this menthol kicking in right now. Put a lot of menthol in there. There we go. I might have nicked the Adam's apple. A lot of growth coming off. There we go. First pass done. You know, people are like, oh, I'm doing it for one pass and I'm good to go. <laughs> I'm never good to go on one pass. Like, sorry, it's not good enough for me, period. No matter what razor I've used. Like, it gets pretty close, but it's nothing like, mm -mm. I have to have a second pass at least. And normally I was always good with two passes, but we've kind of been going for like a two and a half pass shave lately. See, it looks a lot creamier without the whiskers sticking through, right? A little on the pasty side. We will add some water to the neck. Whew. Now that is kicking, guys. The menthol's really kicked up. But the menthol kicks up because you, uh, you've just scraped a blade across your face. And whether you want to admit it or not, you have micro cuts that can't be seen. You have abrasions now. That's why you feel alcohol burn, is you have damaged your skin or your skin wouldn't react to the alcohol. Put aftershave on with alcohol without shaving your face. It doesn't burn. So, 
the menthol intensifies after you've gone over with the first pass. And it's kicking good now. go. It's not bad. Little blade feely. It's got a raspier sound too. Like the, the sound on it's like you get from things that flex a little too much or like when I use a Lord blade because Lord blades make that sound in almost every razor. Sounds like my shower head's dripping. I was thinking about using Parasso red aftershave with this, but James also sent me something called the Cool Fix that we're going to give a go after this and see how it goes. It's supposed to be great for razor burn and bumps and all that junk. I was looking it up online. It's pretty expensive, so I wonder if it's not really around anymore. I think I saw it online for like 36 bucks. All right, well, that seems pricey. We've got a nick here. I didn't feel any. Wow. Some of that ladder didn't want to come out. But I, I knew there was going to be nicks. Going into the shave, it was expected. Oh, that's a little, uh... Little pasty. There we go. I mean, it works out. It makes a decent lather, guys. Sandalwood scent. You want to support an artisan. I totally get it. The base works fine. It's just, I start comparing like, oh, well, what are you paying for this? Do you get the same results? And honestly, like, if you want to get down to it, a and &E is probably one of the best values. Like, return on your money for what you get. Because um, you get all the bougie from all the ingredients. You get the densest lather, and it's on the... Lower end for prices, not the ultimate base, but everything else is on the lower end of prices for top tier soaps. Just being honest. Oh, we got another nick there. See if any come out. Very nice. Yep, that red's better. Sorry, got quiet. Enjoying the shave, you know, kind of zoning out in the shave. Haven't done that in a while. There we go. Has been a while since I've just had a shave to shave and like really enjoy it. I kind of had that here today. All right, guys, we're going to rinse up and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. Looks a little red around the neck, but that's okay. Um, we did use alum afterwards. I mean, come on. Not bad performing soap. I, I did better with this than I've done in the past with Captain's Choice. Like, I was happy with that lather quite a bit, but I definitely dialed it in on the face and didn't try to dial it in in the bowl. So that was definitely a difference there. Maddie Lindholm brush with a Maggard's 24 millimeter synthetic. 
great little brush. The Timeless Razor, yeah, it's aggressive. They're just not for me. It's a nice close shave, just, just not for me. So we're gonna use this, it's called the Cool Fix Targeted Gel Lotion. We'll see, I mean, no, well, that's probably way too much. That's what we used, gel lotion. Ooh, it is cooling. That's nice. Kind of medicinal smelling though. Not like rubber band-aid medicinal smelling, but medicinal smelling. Soothing. It's not bad. We'll see how it goes the rest of the day. All right, guys. You made it this far. You know what? Enjoy the weekend with your family. Enjoy the weekend with your friends, your loved ones, your dogs, your cats, if you're a cat person, whoever it may be. Enjoy your weekend, and I hope to catch you next shave.